All right, so Lucas, Ninja Gaiden 2, what's your experience with this game? I played Ninja Gaiden 2, like, I got it when it was cheap on the 360, so you're probably talking, what, like, 10 years ago now? Okay, well, I uh, love I this played, game. I played, like, a couple of levels, and don't really remember much other than I got my shit wrecked. Yeah, uh, it is a game notorious for its difficulty, uh, for anyone who isn't aware. Um, cheap difficulty, I'll say. Um, it's not your... Um, your Devil May Cries, where good skill and just getting knowledge will get you through. Everything in this game on the harder difficulties is designed to fuck you over. To oh, okay. the point where in Ninja Gaiden Sigma, which is the PS3 like re-release, like um, revamp, they outright mm. cut some bosses out of the game because they were that bad. We're well, not playing that version though, we're playing the version where all the bad stuff left in. So fuck it, let's they go. They cut bosses out? Uh, they took bosses out because they were that bad. Holy shit. There are bosses that are so cheap and so difficult to beat, they just took them out of the game outright. But we're playing the Xbox version, which has all that good stuff left in. <laughs> and, um, I've unlocked Path of the Mentor, because I've already completed the game. Uh, we've got Path of the Acolyte, which is the easy mode, normal mode, and hard mode. We're not going to do hard mode, because it's not fun. Mm -hmm. I, yeah. Like I said, I, Path of the Warrior, I think, is where the challenge... Where the, it's probably the best mode, so fuck it, let's go. Path of the Warrior. Okay, yeah, there so we go. this you've is like the... normal. Oh, you have completed the game at this difficulty. You can now begin a new game with all of the weapons and ninpo that you have gathered. Your ninpo... Oh. Do you want to begin a game with your existing equipment? Lucas, do you want to begin a game with our existing equipment? Carl, I would say, yeah, like, show me the cool shit. Well, we're going to unlock it all anyway as we go through the game. It just means that we can use it from the very start. Well... Personally, I'd say yes. Okay, I'll leave sure. Up to you. Whatever. Do you know it. the game? All right. And what, what version? Do you want Legendary Black Falcon? Do you want Dark Blood? Or do you want Type Twenty? Should we just go for the original Legendary Black Falcon? Yeah, let's just be like you know, normal Ryu. Also, um, what this fun little detail is: every, whatever costume you pick, you're wearing all the cutscenes. Oh, that's good. All, all the cutscenes. It's weird that a game from that long ago does that. It's all in game. Fuck it, Legendary Black Falcon. Let's go. Boom in. Nailed it. It's like, obviously, I think one version for me that was notorious for not doing it was Resi 4. Oh, I hated that. Are you and ready, man? They had so, all these cool extra um, costumes and then just didn't fucking let you wear them in the cutscenes. So, immediately straight into it. Special Agent Sonya, um, and this is a uh, Ninja Theory character, Lucas. Did you want to take a guess at what Special Agent Sonya looks like? Um, I'm going to say... Very big boobs. Yeah, that's all. Yeah, she's got massive tits. So she appears okay, at the door yeah. of a tiny shop run by <laughs> Master Swordsmith Murum uh, Muramasa amidst the skyscrapers of Tokyo. She inquires after the ninja Ryu Hayabusa with ninja being capitalised. That's his job. His whereabouts a mystery. Uh, fun fact, he's right behind her. <laughs> As we're about to find out. Let's go. So first thing you'll notice is this game actually looks pretty good. Not bad, not it bad. It holds up. Also, yeah, we recorded this remotely because, yeah, the Rona. <laughs> I'm like, I've just thing? realised as well that I've gone like, yeah, it doesn't look bad when I haven't full screened it for myself. Okay. Oh, yeah, Team Ninja. Never never put a foot wrong. I always I... get, con like, I don't, but, like, there's always those times when I'm like, wait, was this Ninja Theory or Team Ninja? Oh, yeah, sorry, Team Ninja. Not Ninja Theory. Oh, they're also really bad at woman character designs, though, so it's the same thing. Well, Ninja Theory um, so, did let me get Hellblade, didn't they? Yeah, but then before that, they did Devil May Cry. You don't have a clue DMC. Where I can find Ryu oh, yeah, no of course. Yeah. Knows where a ninja goes. But yeah, it's the fucking job in it. I love that. No one knows where ninjas go. It's kind of his deal. <laughs> also, look at this design. Jo she's a CIA agent, Lucas. Can you tell? Can you tell from her? Holy shit, she looks like a hooker. All I'll say That's Team Ninja for you. Would it surprise you to learn that the people who make this game also make Devil, um, Dead or Alive? Uh, yeah, <laughs> it would not surprise me at all. Like Ayane is in this game. Oh, really? Yeah. In Ninja Gaiden Sigma, you can play as her. Oh, no! Eat shit. Like, is this just a normal thing in this world? Uh, yeah, ninjas are everywhere, mate. No, but these aren't ninjas. These are like ninja monster wolverines. No, it's, it's the Black Spider Clan. Oh, they're all it. just normal people. No, they're ninjas. They're all right. Oh yeah, I got to show off the cleavage. God, that is. It's uh, it's it's so bad. I'm kind of glad uh, 
you know, we've moved this point past this point in games for the most part. Oh man, it's great. I say for the most part because there's still, you know, yeah, the occasional offenders. Tone established. There he is. I like that. Where's Ryu? He's right here. I told you he was right behind her. Oh, Itagaki, look at him. Would it also surprise you to learn, Lucas, that that guy right there got accused of sexually harassing female employees? No comment. Yeah. <laughs> and then he got forced out of the company. Oh, fucking hell, really? Yeah. Yeah, these look like more than normal guys. Oh, no, these are normal dudes. Bye. With glowing red eyes. Oh, just one of them's got glowing red eyes, if you look. Yeah, yeah. So let's just get straight into it. So I sure do. He's the, he's the mini boss, the one with the glow. So here we go. Eyes. You can block, use quick attack. And on the harder difficulties, you start and they're all throwing explosive shurikens constantly. <laughs> so, uh, oh, you like, might well, see. Oh, look, look. Guy did. I put his arm off. So here's, here's the, this is the selling point of this game. Yeah, uh, the once you've taken off a limb, you can obliterate the enemy. There are unique obliterations for every different limb you can cut off. It is the selling point of this game. They took it out from the PS3 version. Wait, what? Uh, do you see all the blood and stuff on screen, all the body part? They take it out. Because the game ran so shit, as you'll see in a bit. Which I think was like, it felt like it made sense a little bit, but... Uh, piece of piss. So I took what a few the hits. Point B if there's no blood and dismemberment? Yeah, they took the dismemberment's in it, but they take all the blood out and replace it with purple sex mist. Of course they do. Oh god, I skipped the cutscene by accident. <laughs> so I'm just so used to mashing through cutscenes. Um, Muramasa doesn't tell you anything except um, go rescue that lady and now he's gone. He's, he's gone forever. He's also, gone with the wind car. There we go, first person view. You'll never use this. <laughs> oh, like third person carrot action games are well famed for needing first person views. Yeah. Oh, cool. So this is how you get your health back. Heal. And I ah, should. Right. I was thinking it was like a. Um, a shop similar uh, to DMC. There is shops later in the game, yeah, so... Uh, oh, okay, cool. You also notice that when I'm going around, I will be basically doing... This is how I'll be moving the entire game. It's not only the fastest way to move... Also the cool. Uh, you are pretty much invincible while you're doing it. It's the dodge oh, okay. gives you a sp frame of invincibility, so it's the jump. And later in the game, the enemies will be constantly throwing stuff at us. So it's just usually easier. And also, yeah, I do have every weapon. Oh, nice. So I'll stick with the um, just my regular, just my dragon sword for the time. Yeah, like show off the sword a little bit for now. The sword is like the secret say, weapon. But like, when I say that um, I played it ten years ago, like yeah, I, I barely remember a goddamn thing from this game. Yeah, it's fine. So it's like, I remember what Ryu looks like, but I also played. Also, Dead look at that like camera angle. Uh, and the reason that obliteration exists is because enemies, when they're weak, do this. They will try to use, like, oh, I'm dead, so I better kill Ryu. Oh, and they'll shit. do shit like they'll commit suicide at you. Oh my god. Yeah, it's great. Stab. So yeah, I'm by no means, like, great. Really cool. I'm yeah. by no means great at this game, but I will be giving it a good go. I will oh, die yeah. a few times, but I'm going to try. <laughs> Carl's going to just do his best. I'm going to do my best. Like, I, I like this game. It's fun, but there are parts of it that I'll highlight for people. I'll give you some free shit. So this is reverse wind technique, which I've been doing already. Ah, oh, okay, yeah. But, uh, so yeah. I will say that I, I, like, hate gaming shit like that. Was kick open a pot. Oh, here's like tutorial. Pause the game. Whoa, get the fuck off, man. Oh god. One sec. There it's like really, really distracted to me. Like, I think in a game like you know we've just literally just stopped recording Zelda. I think yeah. it like comes up with. Right, I'm gonna try and show something that, off like, as well. Fits in with the world. Whereas that was very, like, very, very different. It is, but you need to learn. So that's the best move in the entire game right there. That, the flying swallow attack. Um, you oh, are okay. completely invincible during it. It, more often than not, will cut an enemy's head off, which is an instant kill. Uh, it's super powerful. When you upgrade the weapon, uh, you can do it three times in a row. It's ridiculous. It is the best move in the entire game. So do you have your weapon upgrades as well, right now? No. That's the thing. I have every weapon, but not every upgrade. And oh, okay. here's a fun fact about this game, Lucas. Uh, one of the achievements that you get for it is to complete the game using only a single weapon. Oh. So if you want to get all the achievos for this game, if you're an achievement hunter, you have to complete this game 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight times. Wait, each weapon? For each weapon, you are never allowed to switch to another weapon. Every playthrough starts with you holding the dragon sword. If you press the X button once during that opening cutscene, you will not get that achievement. You have to immediately pause the game and switch that weapon and then never switch off of it. What? And you have to do that eight times. You can do it on any difficulty you want, but you have to complete the entire game. Just Because when you said to me, you have to complete the entire game with one weapon. Yeah. I thought, oh, that's kind of like Dead Space, where it's like, use just a plasma cutter. But you have to do but it for every weapon. For every weapon. Yeah, every weapon. What about those, like, shuriken things you're throwing? Oh, they're, sh they're fine, they're shurikens. They're so you to... can use, like, those, like, yeah. equipment stuff. Also, I'm getting hit a lot, so I'm going to try and show this off. Um, you do have a counter, which usually... Usually, I'd say, will dismember an enemy if you pull it off. But the enemy can dodge it, so let's try and show that off. So, get your, get your hit. Come in. And you have to, like, time it like, as the swing. And then, normally, you can do a uh, obliteration trait afterwards. Oh, okay. Some weapons have better counters than others. Most of the time, mm. not worth doing. Just swing. Always swing first. <laughs> yeah. Let's get my shit. It doesn't seem like the kind of game where you want to be parrying... Uh, technique of shadowless footsteps. There is some. Also, you can climb the ladder if you want. Lucas, why the fuck would I do that? I'm a ninja. <laughs> fuck that. That's an awesome wall jump. It's great. It's probably one of my favourite animations in the game. Oh, he got me. Also, because we play on the Elgato, this game does run in 60 frames. The problem is, because we've got like a bit of delay on my side of the screen, getting parry is going to be fucking difficult. But I'll try. <laughs> it's like, yeah. It's like. I, I presume it's a very minimal delay, but there's still a small delay. You know, it's enough where it'll throw off our timing. Yeah, yeah. In but a game like this, for sure. Get the Johns in first. It's like, I've been managing to, you know, uh, do parries on Zelda, but that's because on Zelda you've got, like, a good window of time where the parry works. So here you go. This is basically just teaching quite strict. So if you, your block gets broken, you can dash away. So if you get your oh. hit, dash away. Don't let him have it. Always continue your offence. Oh! And I've got my Nimpo now. Oh, so you got like your super move kind of thing. Uh, yeah, it's just magic. Oh, okay. Uh, so there we go. And you can, as you can see, it's super fucking useful because you just take his limb off. Just leave him helpless on the floor. But the enemy can dodge it. There we go. Give me that. Fuck you. No head. Also, you might be seeing this a lot. You can charge up an ultimate attack. The little bits of essence around. Every one of them you absorb. You have to absorb two bits of essence to activate an ultimate attack. Or one bit of healing essence. Or you can just charge it up normally. It is the best and only way you should really be defeating bosses. Fighting bosses without doing that is not fun. Okay. Yeah. There's also a weapon that has a completely broken ultimate attack, which I will show off when I can. When we get to it. So when we get to that weapon, Carl. When we get to that weapon. Well, it's the weapon that's all in good box. time. I remember this being difficult, but the game does throw a lot of healing items at you, and you don't get marked down for using Nimpo. In an earlier game, you get marked down for using it. You can I'm use like, your magic you power. So you can if I want. It's like, fuck you. Oh! Oh, fire's everywhere. That, that seems like it's going to be very difficult to use when enemies are attacking them. You're invincible as you use it. Oh, okay. So it's a really say. good, like, get off me attack. If you're in trouble, just throw out, like, a Nimpo to get some health back. Oh, you're, like, half health back. No, it's fine. Like, the thing is, I know I'm alright. It's Nimpo now. Because that's the thing, you're going to be more worried about my health than I am, because I know <laughs> that I'm going to survive. <laughs> Play like a ninja man. Also, here's a neat little animation for you. Oh, nice. Every weapon has that, and it's really cool. Life of a thousand gods. So that well, permanently increases health. It actually wipes the blood off your sword. Yeah, and every weapon has a unique animation for it. There's no point to it, but Itagaki wanted it in. So yeah. that thing completely restores all my health and gives me more health. Mm. So only use it when you've got no health. Fuck you. I love that every animation's great. Oh. <laughs> Is that just like a bottomless pit there? Uh, no. Okay. There we go. It was like, just kick them all into the bottomless pit. You can if you want. 
But I'll, I'll, the thing is, I'm going to go for so many counters, it's going to get me hit so much, but it's fine. Like, the game just Carl showers wants the you. Counters, but the counters don't want Carl. Yeah. The game just showers you in healing items, though, so I don't actually give a shit. You end oh, up okay. with so much healing stuff. Oh, God. Fuck you. Oh, poor guy. Yeah, those are great. You're also fully invincible while using those, so go. again, yeah. spam them as much as you can. Damn it. Fuck that up. Look, I never want you to use a ladder. Why would you ever use a ladder? There's a great one of my favourite prompts in a video game is in a Ninja Gaiden game. I believe the first one. Mm. Um, where you're on an airship and there's just like this window. That's like been taped, literally it's been duct taped up to try and stop people getting in. And Ryu looks at it and just says, what a hasty repair job are they trying to make fun of ninjas. He's like, he, he's like morally offended by the fact they think that's going to stop him getting in. But it's fucking awesome. Oh, yeah. But the thing is, Olaf, because you, you, well, you know something's down here. Yeah, you do. Yeah. There's, there's always items down here. Oh, there isn't this time. I could have sworn the bit. I could have sworn like a healing item. Oh, that poor guy, look at him. <laughs> He's trying his best, girl. I'm trying my best as well. Like, this kid. Fucking do you know, like, the worst enemy in this game? The camera. The camera <laughs> is the most dangerous enemy. Like, the camera has killed me more in this game than, like, um, some level bosses. That is one thing I think a lot of. Like action games haven't got down at the very least. Like, maybe though, nowadays, yeah, but I, there is a I thing though, the majority where of them. at the very least you can't fall off the edge while comboing an enemy. <laughs> so can you imagine? How, oh, I say as I fly off the edge and kill myself. Yeah, you can't I mean, die doing like, that though. At least it's not um, yeah, like a deadly drop. But you can as well if you want, just leave and not fight an enemy. Oh, you can just speed run it. Yeah, if you want, if you like. The speedrun technique is run past every enemy. Yeah. But I want the essence, I want to get my weapons, obviously. Like, that's why I find so many speedruns just boring to watch. Because it's just there running through. Because a lot of the speedruns are just, well, all the technique is run past everything. So here we go. So the flying bird technique, which we've already been using. It's like we bring up it um, every now and then. But like, for example, <gasps> Doom, where the speedrun yeah. is to not play the game. get out of bounds and not play the game. And it's like, what, Doom's such a fun game to play. There we go. Fuck you. Now this game wants you to take damage, so I don't give a shit. So I'm going to be like, getting in there. <laughs> Nimpo. There we go. Fuck you. Oh, what? Oh my god. That's one attack. That's what why... What do you do when Ryu can do that? Yeah. Yeah. Do you just end every single um, combat with the wiping of the blood? You can if you want. It's a fun thing to do, so. Is that like Carl's technique? It's just one of those little details they put in because it looks cool. Mm -hmm. Oh. And obviously, with it being like, you know, an adventure game. Explore. Good. Explore to find cool shit. I remember in Twilight Princess, the uh, Zelda game, they did it so like, if you press um, to put your sword away at the perfect time after combat, you do like a flourish. Yeah, that's cool. I'll so like always that. aim to get that flourish. And if you're wondering. Uh, essence is what you use to buy shit. So, uh, so it's red ore. Uh, so you have to sacrifice it to get um, ultimate attacks. The thing is, though, if you get an ultimate attack in that absorbed essence, you will always get more essence from the enemy you kill. Uh, so if okay. you want to like get lots of like money, make sure you do those all the time. That's a system I don't think they tell you about in this game. Fuck it. So try and do as much <laughs> as possible. Oh god, no! Oh god, no! Oh! oh. You're low on health. It's oh, fine. No. Okay. It fills back up. That's why I'm low on health immediately as the last enemy died. They also as, as the well, last enemy tried. They also as well have a system in this game where it is... Um, not all the time, but most of the time, it gives you the magic pixel. Oh, like, right. Even okay, though yeah. enemies can do... Like, it's, that was lethal damage, but you survive a little bit. But mm -hmm. now you're on minimum health. Just enough to stop it being complete bullshit. Yeah. <gasps> but yeah, that was the Android 16 move of like, I'm going to self-destruct to take out this monster, and then, oh no, he didn't die. Yeah. And I imagine though, if every uh, every enemy in the game doing that at once. That's what hard <laughs> mode is. Also, instead of the regular shurikens, they're all explosive shurikens. And the only oh, way wow. to stop the explosive shuriken killing you is to abuse iframes. Like that dodge there, that one. If you do that just as the explosion hits, it stops you taking damage. 
Oh, right, That's okay, the yeah. intended way to beat that. Oh, yeah, you're into the Dark Souls tech. Enemies firing projectiles at you constantly throughout the entire level. <laughs> so I know for a fact that I can just run past them, so I'm going to do that. It's that calls like, let's not just get absolutely tanked. I'm just going to review my frames. Just like show it off. I'll try to show off some like some tech. Yeah, yeah. That's something we always try and do in these playthroughs that we do together. It's like we play games that we both like somewhat aware of, like how they work, so that we can show off a cool thing every now and then. Yeah. So I know that those enemies will fire the arrows at you the entire time. If you run all the way around here, they stop being able to hit you. So it just stops it being like unfair. Because it is unfair by design. They want you to be annoyed. Mm -hmm. There we go. And I want to jump does down. everyone have to be dead for you to use those? Yeah. The uh, shrines. Is that the, is that the trade off? Yeah. So obviously you run past them, the enemies don't despawn, they'll continue to follow you. <laughs> I like that though. I much prefer that to when it's just, oh you run past them, they all despawn. Yeah. Well that's one of the problems though, because there's so many enemies on screen at some point, the game slows down. There's a famous scene that's like on a staircase, where it's just, what do you do? Is it though, um, the thing of like, I know... A lot of games like run slightly better through the Xbox One emulation. Some like that, yeah. It's like it kind of works out in this. Like it's not as noticeable in this version, but the PS3 version did take all that shit out, and I yeah. think it suffers for it. Like it's technically, on paper, a better running version of the game. It has more content. They take out some of the worst bullshit bosses. They add new ones in. There's new characters in it, but the bullshit is kind of the appeal. Oh, okay. But like yeah. the fact it's so okay. bullshit is what makes it so satisfying. Also, yes, mm -hmm. you can get hit by arrows while climbing these. <laughs> they can hit you and knock you off as well. Of so. course. And I imagine if I was fighting those enemies while constantly getting hit by those. Like, I would argue that, you know, taking like the Resi 4 5 system is always the more fun way to do it. Or, oh, well, while you're doing like, a, you know, a melee animation or you're a climbing invincible. animation. Yeah. You're just invincible, and yeah, yeah, it means you can abuse some stuff. But that what make the games like really fun to go back to to learn how to do it. It also, as well, um, if that wasn't the case, if I wasn't invincible while doing stuff like that, the game would be unplayable. Exactly. So here's one of my. F yeah, there we go. So that's the best move in the game. Using, oh, okay. Using yeah. crowded areas, you must have the dragon sword equipped. Yeah. Spoiler: every weapon has a version of it because they learned in Ninja Gaiden that. From the like Ninja Gaiden One and Two and Black, I think it's Ninja Gaiden that and Black. People only use this weapon for that move. Uh, okay. it's, it's that good. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> no likes for you. So like it's one of those of oh we'll just give that move to every weapon because so that it's the best move. Forced into using this one. It's like the Izuna drop when we unlock that. Like it's the move I'm gonna be using on almost every enemy. It's that good. Wait, is that actually like worth using? I thought that would just be like no, it's a an instant kill move. on all. It's an instant kill on all human-sized enemies, and you're invincible as you do it, and it has an area of effect when you land. But like okay. most battles can be finished just doing that, and on the hardest mode in the game, you just do that over and over again, which is why we're not playing it. Yeah, at least in this, I'll be able to like, like a lot of fun. I'll be able to show oh. off some combos just and like, do, like you know, the drop and the cool moves that you can do. So every weapon has like an entire page of moves. That are all super awesome. Whoa. Dodge. It's that thing of like, I could be the masochist and we could just like take a run at all these modes. Or, mm -hmm. we could try and do some cool stuff. And as well, I think it would just like be a bit boring if all we were doing is, um, if, yeah. I like could... going through the same one level and just getting our asses handed to us. But as well, I could bumble fuck my way through hard mode and it would just be me just doing the flying swallow attack over and over again. Oh, okay. Which is, like, that is the legit way that you'll, if you go to YouTube, go, like, oh, Master Ninja Run, that's all they do. It's just spamming ultimate attacks and the invincibility frames. So this is where you get a new weapon. So I think right now would be a good time. So let's, what other weapon should we do? So here, I believe you pick up the Lunar Staff. Oh, okay. So that's what well, we if you can try to remember <laughs> that's where I pick roughly it up. what weapon we get at the time. What projectile weapon do you have? Uh, I have them all. We've got shurikens. We've got explosive shurikens, which are very powerful, and I don't want to use them. Mm -hmm. like, they're too good. Like, they kill everything. 
And the windmill shuriken, which is ball, like, I don't really use projectiles. Again, like, it's from an earlier game. It's good. Oh, is that like a giant shuriken that comes back to yeah, you? Yeah, it's a boomerang, basically. You have the bow and arrow, which is, again, super good. Um, when you're playing on, like, harder difficulties, it's the only projectile you'll ever be using because it obliterates. It can kill enemies in one hit. And okay. Ryu auto-corrects where he fires it. So a tactic is to go into a corner, keep double jumping off the wall, and then firing the bow and arrow. <laughs> because firing the bow and arrow, it will auto-aim to the nearest enemy, and the double yeah. jump off the wall generally breaks all lock-on and is invincible. Again, it's not fun to watch, and that's it. And then you have a Gatling gun that you use underwater. Because, yeah, this game has underwater sections, and they're not fun. No, no. So, like, yeah. Carl, have you ever said, oh, yeah, this game has an underwater section, and it's amazing? So which weapon would you like me to dick around with now? Uh, try out the Lunar Staff. Is that, if that's what we should be getting now, right, let's, let's give have a look go. at the, the techniques. Like, so you can have a look at these techniques, look. There's a lot of techniques we don't have yet. What? That is a, that's one thing? That's one weapon, yeah. Oh my and there's like all the level 2 things when you upgrade it. Also as well, read some of these names. Like some of these names <laughs> are fucking awesome. Stone of Sin. Like, like look at all these album names and power metal band names. The Crystal Thrust. Lion Storm, Reverse Wind, Calm Water Break, Phantom Moon, Mirror Reflection, Vanish Mist, the Waning Moon. So none of the moves that I get at the moment are any good. Just... So is that only for the Lunar Staff, yeah? Yeah, that's all the move set for that weapon. And obviously, Holy if we were shit. playing on a harder mode, we would never see any of those moves because I'd just be constantly doing this one. Where is it? Oh, we've not unlocked it yet, but I'd be constantly just doing the ultimate attack. Oh, okay. Because yeah. the ultimate attack is invincible and kills everything. And what it gets to the point of is killing enemy with your ultimate attack, absorb all the essence gained by killing the enemy, use the ultimate attack again. <laughs> the ultimate technique, I love it. I don't care. I like that we learned the ultimate technique like on the first level. Yeah. So the Lunar Staff, you might have guessed from that attack, is one of the best weapons in the game. It just because it has that like, amazing so amount better. of range. Also, yes, the Lunar Staff has a Zuna drop. Oh, oh. Is, each, is each Zuna drop different for each uh, one? The combo into it is different, but the drop is always the same at the end. Oh, okay. And every weapon has like unique um, uh, obliteration techniques as well. What's yeah, this? this weapon looks so much stronger than the uh, the sword. Uh, so here's a neat little thing where you find just random ninjas in the world who are just really shit, <laughs> and they've de and they're dead, and all their notebooks are about how they can't do the stuff that you do. Oh, so here's man. this one. So why I ask you why? Why am I incapable of finishing off my enemies? Other apprentices lop off heads left and right, but what about me? When an opponent lies before me, blood spurting from mortal wounds, begging for the mercy of my blade, I stand there like a practice dummy. I can't bring myself to use the obliteration technique. Now I think of it, my life has been full of tragedy. I saw far too much in the blood-drenched days of my youth. I must suffer some mental trauma, cause my mind to flee from violence, deep into the subconscious shelter. No, wake up! Obliterate! You must obliterate! Open your eyes and obliterate, damn it! Zenimaru. And as you probably tell, our fact he's dead. He's not very good. <laughs> and this like, is like I oh, don't think oh. he ever learned to obliterate. Like that. <laughs> if he'd have just if he'd have stayed still, he would have